this is you guys double or seven yeah I'm gonna show you a bit more from dark zone and I've added or oh, I've added a video of the dark zone but I didn't explain it uh, everything there I was just with my friends there I'm showing you a bit of gameplay of it and I'm gonna show you some of the vendors in there which is different from the normal gun vendors and gear vendors in the normal story mode place so I'll show you guys all of that and the safe rooms inside the dark zone and there's better guns and everything so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video just to let you know I probably might die on some occasions inside the dark zone because those enemies there are lots half and then in the outside so yeah and I'm currently alone and I might be killed or two other players that is being unfriendly so yeah almost to the door of the dog zone should be around the corner just here and there it is it's into the dog zone And then the right hand side, the top corner, you can see my two different ranks. Rank 22 in the dog zone, 28 in the normal story. If you die in the dog zone, you lose XP for your rank. So if you're rogue, if you become a rogue engine, you die, you lose more XP and you also lose money. So yeah, I used to be rank 23, then I got the ranks all the way to 20. Because we killed other players and tried to take their loot, some occasions didn't work out very well, and we lost a lot of XP. So yeah, as you can see, my wallet's in a dog, and it's eight. It's only eight thousand. I used to have a lot more, but I lost it. As you can see, uh, this is all of the gear. They keep changes, so that's the only gun this person has: body armor backpack and normal advanced mods this one is for stamina firearms and this is a grip i'm not sure for which gun i'll probably see here okay so it's a small on the barrel yep so the shooter pack to me it does good because you can see there just with the 307 arm that does it the arm stands for armor if you don't know for any of you <laughs> just next to the armor there's a green arrow to chunk up that's good for me and then, then to the right you'll see there's an arrow going up and then one of us says nothing once it go down as you can see at the top there my primary dps that's the first one for firearms this one is good for stamina it's normal but for electronics it brings it down but i normally look for ammo this one doesn't give me any extra ammo which the one I have equipped gives me more ammo so I want more ammo than protection especially for the backpack the rest mostly armor which is good <laughs> and as you can see I have to be ranked 30 which I'm level 28 for any of these to use so yeah can't buy any of that until I'm ranked 30 one of these vendors I saw a very good gun that I want it's a vector it brings my DPS up a lot. The DPS it stands for damage per second. So you can see my uh, mine is 30,248 damage per second. And yeah, I know I haven't showed you guys all of it. So here's Intel. See, I've collected all, all of that here and there. Field data. These are like extra things you collect in story mode. Well, on a free room story mode side, with outside of the dog zone. These are incident reports. If you go to collect them, you can watch like a video. Okay, those are voice messages. Some of them have videos, some have voice recording and like echoes. If any of you have ever played like Batman, Arkham Knight, or Arkham City, where he does his protective mode. If you go to the Echo side, it's a lot like that. Group management, you can invite friends to play with you. The map, you can either go there to the map, or like on a PS4, you just press your touchpad and then it shows you the map. News, 
well you can connect to facebook or twitter and this explains things for you in the dark zone tips oh, sorry inventory as you can see i have blue this blue pearl blue bluish color is it's it's a really already good gear you need to get this like purple gear which is better in the blue and then you get like a goldish color which is it's like exotics I don't have any exotics yet because you have some look like some of them you need to be level 30 to use them and over here the green is just normal so yeah I keep changing sometimes when weapons goes from blue back to green because like some of the guns will do more damage than the others so yeah I used to have the police backpack that I got with the game if you pre-order it but now I got this one and gives me 31% ammo not 75 but this one gives me a lot of ammo enough ammo that I need plus it gives me more protection in my police bag so I chose that one instead now and yeah abilities I've unlocked most of them as you can see you can like this thing is my seat command which I call green lantern I used to have this one equipped and it splits into a lot of them but I changed my mind and then I found this one air burst it targets the guys and then it literally makes a whole place just like incendiary bomb and I haven't showed you guys this is my special ability it takes a long time to recharge after you use it it gives you more damage and critical hit percentage if you use it and I think these two are the same but I've never used that one before yet so yeah this one is cool <laughs> it's a mobile cover you deploy like a small cover for you just to hide in the mod I have equipped here yeah, if somebody is in the blast range is when you try and they leave it or like I mean not leave it like take it away if you hold R1 in it literally explodes the shield and everyone on the other side of the radius of the shield will die and the rest I haven't used yet so yes but I've seen this one it increases damage and becomes immune to pulses so if somebody s detects you with this pulse thing here they can't see you at all this is a sticky bomb this is a normal ballistic shield you walk around it increases damage and critical hits when you shoot it at cover and then <laughs> you literally see like that we're showing on the cover page there arrows on the walls or cars and then if you hide behind it, it gives you more damage this is a little turret I don't, I don't have any more upgrades for it first aid this is something like a first aid for yourself and uh, some of these abilities will also give if there's a player close to you to give them health but I use this one as a support station you drop it and then it makes a big circle if you're in that circle it heals you in the mod I've equipped, if you go down and someone has to revive you, you can just crawl to the circle and then it revives you by itself. Another thing here is the talents, you can choose between four of them. My fourth one is still locked, so yeah, I only have three equipped. And perks, you don't choose them, you just unlock them and then you have it already. So yeah, and to unlock more of these and talents, you need to upgrade your medical, tech and security wings and so with these abilities if you want to lock mods for them you can see that at the top it is 90% medical wing, su wing, medical wing supplies 90% of it has been upgraded and I have 420 supplies of it same with the tech I have already completed 70% so I have 240 left 80% security and 400 of that left as well so you can collect more by doing side missions that each one uh, each one will save if it has security wing or tech or medical wing supplies and yeah, this just takes you to the PS tour this one takes you to Ubisoft club and this is just your normal settings yeah and that's basically everything oh yeah if you guys want to see I can show you where you upgrade your mods for your guns you press square if you have it and you can choose between different mods and you can see it they are on my front of my grab these two are the same but two of my different guns have it on equipped so yeah my machine gun has that currently equipped the flash hider and i see some of the um like the scopes here then it takes you into like first person and you see through the scope like if you have this one attached it does it shows it because it's like a sniper scope but i've seen normal 
the ACOG scope you can look through it in first person but the red dot the one I've currently equipped on this gun it does not contain first person look through so and skins there's already equipped on my sniper rifle I'll quickly show the sniper rifle looks like and this is that that's how my sniper looks like it's a very nice sniper so yeah here's my pistol and yeah and over, over here I've got to show you guys these this is the mods you have um, left that's not equipped to any gun so yeah that one small caliber it means you have to check if the gun takes a small or large if you can see it by the muzzle so that a part will fit on this gun but it's nothing really work for this gun because I don't really need it so I'm using the blue one over here it shows you the, all of these advanced mods I don't know if it actually works just like that being there or do you have equipped with them I haven't figured that out that quite yet but I think it's really working if you have it I'm not too sure and over here that's how much stuff you can say you need the dogs so I can pick up to like guns or body armor in total so yeah that's what I'm going to show you guys now in the dark zone I'm going to see if I okay yeah fold up and now yeah, I'm going to show you the first dark zone here we go See if you can find some guys, I'm just gonna extract like a random loot so I can show you guys the basics of the dark zone. I'm in dark zone one of you. So it means the guys are here on low level so I can probably take them alone out alone but okay these guys aren't low. It's because I'm a high rank. As you can see there in the, just above my radar map. Yes, so these guys are strong. It shows you the player bracket. That depends how high the other players are and which if you guys were playing together. So if I have a friend, I have a friend like, 20, like he's rank 24, he might be still be able to play with me, otherwise he won't be able to because these guys are too high for him. And this is only DZ, DZ01, Dark Zone 1. This is where still the low guys are. You go up to DZ zone 6. And the higher you go, the higher the guys are to kill. How high are their ranks? Shit, my medical bag just expired. Let me show you what my new Green Lantern does. Let's look at him. He's gonna go and kill those guys. That's nice. And it really comes in handy a lot. He's my sniper. Just gonna quick shoot him. Let me quick show you guys the scope when I was talking about seeing the sniper. If I press R3, it zooms in like a real scope. For kill him, let me swap to this gun. If I zoom in, it just zooms in like that. That's the maximum zoom in. Let me kill this guy and see who's attacking from the side. Okay, none of them have dropped loot that I can extract. They only dropped some like ammo. And maybe medical bags. Or medical kits. These purple dudes, even when the dark zone is purple dudes, so it means they actually have body armor, so they just don't just have their health. So that's why it's so hard to kill them in here. Okay, but none of them has, uh, haven't dropped anything except body armor, well, ammo. We can show you this orange place here, this is where you extract gear, if you have any. You just go up here and stand anywhere in the orange zone we want and you just hold in square and you'll shoot a flame and a chopper will come for you. I don't know if 